Here in Tennessee, more than a thousand cameras are capturing your car trips. We first introduced you to automatic license plate readers on Monday. Well, this evening, WBIR has learned they've also been quietly installed in the most visited national park in the country. 10 News investigative reporter Grace King takes us on a road trip. Welcome to the Great Smoky Mountains from Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge and Townsend. Did you see the license plate readers? No, no, I haven't. No, I did not. Not that I know of. If you're heading to the National Park, you likely pass them on the way there. And now, once you drive past the welcome signs. I guess they're just trying to keep track of the who's coming through or whatever like that. The Great Smoky Mountains National Park says you are looking at a pilot program. Incredibly concerned at the point of being ticked off. I think it uh, has some, a lot of implications. Civil liberties for one, privacy another. Congressman Tim Burchett doesn't like the idea of being tracked in the most visited national park. In 2021, 14.1 million people visited the Smoky Mountains. I have heard at some of our, our so-called top secret facilities where national secrets are, are kept and things like that, not in a park. That just, to me, that's, that's beyond belief. We asked the Park Service about their plans for license plate readers. They say it's not functional yet. They're testing to see if the park has the connectivity and power to support the equipment needs. We located one set at the Townsend entrance and another pair near the Sugarlands Visitor Center. Together, data shows roughly 6 million people a year drive through those entrances. It will be abused eventually, if not in the beginning. It, um, always good intentions by government, but there again, show me somebody who trusts their government. The National Park Service says it hasn't purchased the Motorola equipment yet or made any kind of agreements. If it does work out, they'd see if the data helps with problems like overdue hikers or requests from other agencies. I don't really have a problem with it. Uh, they typically uh, there to catch people who are doing something they probably shouldn't be doing. Some visitors don't mind the extra set of eyes. Yeah, you should know like who's visiting and stuff. Congressman Burchett, however, fears it could become much more. A federal agency checking those things without any uh, oversight to me and no clear direction that that a lot of that throws up a lot of signals. Uh, we need some real answers, and I will be calling on the Park Service to do that. The Park Service says it does not have a timeline for when it will make a decision on the license plate readers.